911. Can you come and take my daughter? Put her in jail. She's a thief. I threw the vase at mom, but it missed. Also, a violent person. Are you crazy, mom? What's wrong with you? Give me your phone. Mom ran outside screaming. My deaf BFF Tina was outside, and I was so nervous that I forgot the sign language and mistakenly told Tina to throw her juice at mom, which she did. And mom froze. Mom was a genius scientist, but also an impulsive and erratic person. I told you not to enter my lab. It has top secrets related to my experiments. I swear, Mom, I wasn't stealing. I just needed some answers. Mom started walking towards me, but Tina threw a bagel at her. Girl, you didn't have to do that. I was going to hug her. Mom was still angry, and Tina misread her, so she hit her with a bunch of donut holes. Okay, okay. This is really crazy, I know, but my life wasn't always this insane. You should start from the beginning. Good idea. Hi, my name is Melody, but before I continue, please like and subscribe. My mom wasn't always a crazy maniac. In fact, she was the kindest and sweetest person in the world. She's actually my stepmom. I first met her in the ninth grade. She was my science teacher. At the time, I was really lonely. My dad and I had just moved to a new city, and I didn't have many friends. Excuse me? Yes, I did have Tina. She's my BFF and she lives next door. She's really smart. So smart that she skipped four grades and abandoned me to go to a fancy college across town. Abandoned you? Really? Yes, we did hang out on the weekends, but at school, I was all alone. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, somehow I'd managed to turn all the cheerleaders against me. It may have been because at lunch one time, I got distracted by this cute boy named Lance and I tripped over my shoelace. My lunch tray went flying and my spaghetti flew into the air and landed right on a cheerleader's head. And she wasn't just any cheerleader. She was the team captain. To make matters worse, her boyfriend, the football quarterback, walked up and flipped on my spaghetti and broke his leg. He couldn't play for the rest of the season. After that, I was a pariah. The whole school, even most of the teachers were mad at me. I hated everything about my school, except my science class. My teacher, Miss Peach, made science so much fun that when I was in her class, I forgot about how much my life sucked. Then one day during a parent-teacher conference, my dad saw Miss Peach and he fell in love with her at first sight. They started dating and after a few months, they got married. Things were great for a while. I even started calling her mom. Mom quit working at the school so she could spend more time with me and dad. We were a perfect, happy family. Then my mom lost her mind. It started when dad got a new job. He had to travel a lot for work and was rarely home. So mom built a secret lab in our basement and spent all day and night inside. On her birthday, I snuck down there to surprise her for lunch. Hey mom, look, I got tacos and cake. My hands were pretty full, so I tried to set the cake and tacos down on the counter, but honey, don't. I accidentally knocked over a beaker full of this smelly green liquid. Melody's really clumsy. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. The proper term is vertically challenged. Can I please get back to my story now? Go ahead. Once the liquid hit the floor, the green gas that smelled like a bag of farts filled the air. The emergency alarms went off, the room got all blurry, and the next thing I knew, I woke up in the hospital. Some weird men in suits and dark shades took me to a strange room and asked me a dozen questions and gave me all these medical tests, but everything came back normal. But then, a week later, things took a turn. I was suddenly really smart. I mean, like, crazy smart. I had a photographic memory and could solve any math problem. I started acing all my tests, and soon I was at the top of my class. I told my mom about it, and she freaked out. I where she started spying on me. A couple of days later, things got even weirder. All of a sudden, the boys in school started noticing me. Hey Mel, can I carry your books? No thanks, I think I got it. Can I walk you to class? I'm sure I can handle it. And not just two or three boys, I mean all of them. In class, they fought over who would sit next to me. Hey, I was sitting there. No, I was here first. An hour later, a mob of boys were chasing me down the hall. Wait Mel, don't go. Even the quarterback. You remember him, right? He slipped on Mel's spaghetti and broke his leg? Well, even he couldn't get enough of me. Mel, I think I love you. What did you do to my boyfriend, you witch? She jumped into the air like a ninja and tried to kick me. I ducked, then she threw one of her pom-poms at my head. The thing really hurt. There was no way I was gonna win that fight, so I ran. I was so scared. Everywhere I turned, there were more boys and ninja cheerleaders, and they were gaining on me. Then Lance, the cute boy who had caused the spaghetti incident, appeared out of nowhere. He pulled me into a classroom, and then sprang me in the face with what smelled like pickle juice. Ouch, you jerk. That stuff stinks. It's gone into my eyes. Why'd you do that? Quiet, they'll hear you. I stayed as quiet as a mouse as we peeked through the window. Suddenly, the crowd of boys started sniffing the air. 
Then they just walked off. The angry ninja cheerleaders followed. What the heck is happening? I wasn't sure that would work. Your mom's serum is stronger than we thought. What would work? What serum? The one you knocked over in your mom's secret lab that turned into gas and smelled like a bag of farts? We know all about it. We've been watching her. Who's we? We can't stay here. It's not safe. Follow me. Lance and I snuck out the window. We hopped into his car and raced out of the parking lot. He was driving so fast I started to get woozy. Can you please slow down? I think I'm gonna be. I threw up all over his shirt and I was so embarrassed. After Lance cleaned up, he took me to a cyber cafe and what he told me about my mom blew my mind. Your mom's a rogue scientist who's been in hiding for years. We got a tip that she was working as a high school teacher. I've been posing as a student trying to find her. I was about to give up until your accident. You have to help me stop her. She's dangerous. No way, that can't be true. Your mom was working on a serum that was designed to create a super secret agent, a highly intelligent expert fighter who's irresistibly attractive. Why would a super secret agent need to be attractive? Not sure. It's a thing. Really? Yes. Some bad people want to get their hands on the serum. I need you to sneak into your mom's lab, steal her laptop, and give it to me. Lance